Forget dragons. Imagine a 60-foot-long lizard with a crocodile head and four giant flippers cruising the ocean 66 million years ago. Or a shark, not with rows of teeth, but with a circular killer saw rotating around its jaw, ready to slice up anything coming its way. Sounds like the worst nightmare, right? Except these creatures weren't figments of imagination. They were very real, and for a long time, no one believed they could have possibly existed. Prepare to have your reality shattered. Join us on a thrilling expedition into the past, where fossils whisper secrets of monstrous leviathans that ruled the ancient seas. We'll encounter the Mosasaurus, a predator so powerful it could crush a car in its jaws. Then, meet Megalodon, the largest shark ever to have lived, with a bite force stronger than a T-Rex. But size isn't everything. We'll meet the bizarre Anomalocaris, a shrimp-like creature with eyes wider than its body. Then, the Dunkleosteus, an armored fish with a head so strong it could withstand a battering ram. So guys, stay with us, and let's step back in time to explore ancient oceans filled with incredible sea creatures. Our journey begins with the enigmatic Helicoprion, a bizarre and mysterious fish that lived during the Permian period 290 million years ago, a creature so strange it puzzles scientists even today. This ancient fish resembled a shark and roamed the Permian seas with a jaw unlike any other. Now if you've ever heard of a mouth that spirals, Helicoprion had exactly that, a tooth whirl, a swirling spiral packed with teeth. Spanning the globe from America to Australia and from Asia to Europe, this 20 to 25 foot long enigma of the deep had a presence that was both widespread and mysterious. Interestingly, despite its shark-like guise, Helicoprion wasn't a precursor to the great whites or tiger sharks we know today. In fact, it wasn't much of a shark at all. It is a genus of Eugeniodont fish, which is a group of extinct cartilaginous fishes. All of them are long gone, but their closest living relatives are still with us today, the mysterious chimeras, which are also called ghost sharks or ratfishes. It's like a bridge from the ancient past to the present. It is evident that Helicoprion was carnivorous and may have lived off of a diet of squids. However, the real head-scratcher remains. How did Helicoprion hunt and feed with such an unusual dental arrangement? Without a complete skeletal framework, the puzzle of its predatory habits remains unsolved, sparking debate and speculation among researchers. What do you think? How did this spiral-toothed wonder eat? Moving on to another amazing prehistoric lizard-like sea monster, the Mosasaurus. Just think of giant marine lizards ruling the seas, much like dinosaurs dominated the land. That's exactly what Mosasaurs were during the Cretaceous period, around 145.5 to 66 million years ago. But what made these ancient sea monsters so special? Mosasaurs had a body like a snake, a head that boasted a massive skull, and a snout built for snatching prey. Their limbs weren't ordinary. They had transformed into powerful paddles, propelling them through the water with a tail that had more than 100 vertebrae whipping behind. And how big is this sea monster, you wonder? The largest species could stretch up to a whopping 56 feet. Just imagine stacking three school buses end to end. But did you know that not all of them were this gigantic? Many were no bigger than the porpoises we see today. What a great diversity in sizes. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Recent research hints that mosasaurs might have been warm-blooded. Can you believe it? These marine lizards could keep themselves toasty in the cold depths of the ocean, rather than relying on the sun like their fishy and turtle neighbors. And size didn't matter, big or small, they all seemed to share this warm-blooded trait. In 2023, scientists unearthed a new mosasaur species in Mexico, named Jaguarosaurus, dating back about 90 million years. This discovery was a game-changer, shedding light on the early days of these fearsome predators. It shows the remarkable transformation of these incredible creatures. From being clumsy swimmers to honing their abilities, to move through the ocean with grace and power. This evolution wasn't just about getting better at swimming, it was about becoming apex predators, much like the T-Rex on land. Natural selection and adaptation shaped mosasaurs, turning them from shore dwellers to deep sea dominators. Mosasaurs weren't just another sea creature, they were the ancient rulers of the ocean, with a story that continues to captivate us all. Moving on, let's shift our focus to another remarkable creature of the deep, the Megalodon. Did you know the Megalodon was largest fish to ever exist? Paleontologists have found hundreds of fossilized teeth, not just any teeth, but one so large they hint at a creature of unimaginable size. How big exactly? Scientists have pieced together this giant puzzle, mainly from these teeth and a few vertebrae, 
and it showed possible signs that the newborns were already larger at birth than most of the ocean's inhabitants today. A megalodon's jaw could open wide enough to swallow two adults side by side. With lengths reaching up to almost 60 feet, they were three times longer than the largest great white shark recorded. But how did these giants start their lives, and where did they grow up? It turns out that megalodons might have had special nursery areas. A 2010 discovery along the Panamanian coast revealed a spot littered with juvenile megalodon teeth, suggesting a shallow, warm water haven where these young predators could safely grow. It is believed that at their peak, megalodons spanned the globe, from South America to New Zealand. Yet, something happened during the Pliocene epoch that shrunk their vast territory, leading to their extinction. The megalodon vanished around 2.6 million years ago. Their legacy, however, lives on in their giant teeth, a name rightfully earned with some measuring a staggering seven inches in length. Hey, did you know that the ancient oceans were once ruled by creatures that weren't dinosaurs but shared the world with them? Enter the plesiosaurs, the long-necked marvels of the Mesozoic era, living from the late Triassic to the late Cretaceous periods, around 215 to 66.5 million years ago. These marine reptiles were the serpents of the sea. But what made them stand out in the prehistoric seas? Plesiosaurs had a fascinating distribution, roaming from the European seas to the vastness of the Pacific Ocean, touching shores from Australia to North America. They were adept swimmers, slicing through the water with grace, feasting on fish and the abundant marine life that thrived during their era. And here's a very interesting part. Some species are thought to have given birth to live young rather than laying eggs. How's that for breaking the reptilian mold? They fall under family Plesiosauridae, which were primarily two camps. The Plesiosauroids, with their swan-like long, flexible necks and petite heads, and the Pliosauroids, the robust cousins with shorter necks and crocodile-esque long heads. Aren't these ancient sea monsters too fascinating to be true? Well, that's not all. Let's move to another amazing prehistoric creature, the Liopleurodon. These marine reptiles thrived between the late Triassic and late Cretaceous periods, about 215 to 66.5 million years ago, leaving behind clues to their existence all over the globe. Their fossils were discovered in the early 1800s, in various locations around the world, including the UK, specifically in Dorset and Lyme Regis. But have you ever wondered what secrets these fossils hold about the lives of Liopleurodon? The Kem Kem Geological Group in eastern Morocco, renowned for its rich deposit of prehistoric fossils, has unveiled evidence that some Liopleurodons might have ventured into freshwater to feed. This revelation challenges our traditional view of these creatures as strictly marine animals. Could the vast Sahara have once been a thriving habitat for these freshwater plesiosaurs? Among the diverse group of plesiosaurs, Liopleurodon stands out for its sheer size and terrifying predatory prowess. The discovery of a 39-feet-long Liopleurodon in England, renowned for its powerful bite, paints a vivid picture of the marine food chain during its time. These discoveries not only expand our understanding of prehistoric marine life, but also ignite the imagination about the world millions of years ago. Now, imagine a marine behemoth, not a shrimp as once believed, but an early arthropod cruising the Cambrian seas over 500 million years ago. Meet Anomalocaris, the Cambrian period's apex predator, with its bizarre yet fascinating anatomy and hunting prowess. Anomalocaris had a large, segmented body with undulating lobes for swift swimming, a fan-shaped tail for an extra burst of speed, and a head sporting a pair of compound eyes that might remind you of a scene from a sci-fi movie. And its mouth? A circular array of 32 plates resembling a pineapple ring, ready to snap at its prey. Spanning up to 10 feet in length, Anomalocaris was not just any predator, it was the terror of the Cambrian seas, equipped with spiky front arms perfect for snagging unsuspecting trilobites and other marine creatures. Its fossils, unearthed in places as diverse as Australia, Canada, China, and the USA, reveal a creature that ruled the oceans across the globe. While Anomalocaris might not have made it beyond the Cambrian extinction, its legacy lives on. Next on the list is Dunkleosteus, another gigantic prehistoric wonder that you never thought would have existed. Or should we call it the ugly dunkling? This colossal placoderm lived around 358 to 382 million years ago in the late Devonian seas, 
reaching lengths of up to 20 feet and weighing around 1.1 tons. Dunkleosteus was encased in a thick, tank-like armor. It wasn't just its size that was daunting. Its head, thorax, and jaw were shielded, making it a formidable force in the murky depths. But what truly set Dunkleosteus apart was its terrifying mouth. Instead of teeth, it boasted two pairs of sharp, bony plates, forming a beak-like structure that acted as self-sharpening blades. Roaming the open waters of North America, Poland, Belgium, and Morocco, this true titan of ancient oceans was a pelagic fish and a pioneering apex predator of its ecosystem. Curiously, Dunkleosteus might have been its own worst enemy. Evidence suggests a cannibalistic nature, with larger individuals preying on their smaller kin. Looks like it was a fish-eat-fish -fish world down there. Get it? Despite its ferocity, it had a peculiar diet quirk. It couldn't digest bone. Fossil findings often include masses of partially digested fish bones, hinting at a habit of regurgitating indigestible parts. What a poor thing! Belonging to the kingdom Animalia and nestled within the class Placodermi, Dunkleosteus is a hallmark of prehistoric marine research. Every fossil is a piece of the puzzle, offering insights into the evolution and diversity of life on Earth, having the origins of life explained. As we continue to unearth these ancient relics, they tell us new stories about the mysterious depths of our planet's past and the unimaginable wonders of marine ecosystems. After all, this isn't just a journey through the fossil record. It's a testament to the power of scientific exploration, challenging our preconceived notions of what's possible in the natural world, unfolding the beautiful tapestry of life. Revealing these ancient giants, from the spiral-toothed helicoprion to the armored Dunkleosteus, challenges what we thought was impossible. This proves that the real world can be as fantastic as any fiction. Who would have believed such creatures ever roamed our oceans, would you?